So I'm out on a UCS shift today and I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the vehicle we're using. Starting at the back of the vehicle, there's the back doors that we load patients in and out. The um, big yellow thing is the scoop stretcher, we use that for spinal injuries. And then on the other side opposite that is our carry chair and we can use that to uh, get people up and down stairs easily enough um, and things like that. And then below that you can see the ramp that folds out. In the corner we have our main packed oxygen cylinder and then we've got a spare oxygen Nentinox portable cylinders. We've got a sharp spin and clinical waste bin um, that we use for any necessary things. Coming round we have the patient cot which is uh, for now. Uh, so that allows patients to be securely transferred in and out of hospital and they can either lie flat or be sat up or in various different positions. And behind that we've got our spinal board. Don't use that so much anymore because the scoop's preferable. Uh, and then up in the top corner here we've got our suction unit uh, used for you know suctioning out any vomit or blood in patients airway you can see that we've got all our various sizes of gloves there we've also got various charging points that we can use usb 12 volt and mains because we have an inverter on board um, and then coming round into the corner you can see our oxygen outlet there's a patient there's an air management airway management seat there that's used for the crew member to manage the airway um, then on the top here, this thing here is our Zolly series. It's an AD defibrillator monitor, so we can use this to check patients' blood pressure, pulse oximetry, so the level of oxygen in their blood. We can, it's configured to an AED, so we can use it to shock somebody's heart back together. And it also has some advanced features that the healthcare professionals within the organisation can use. Next to that, we've got our paperwork, all important paperwork. Um, coming down, we've got various drawers uh, that contain diagnostics, minor injury equipment and spares, oxygen air and airway stuff. Um, then in there, the big cupboard is our secondary response bag, and that's got all our first aid equipment, major trauma, spare diagnostic equipment, spare oxygen masks and everything that we can take in. And our primary response bag is just down there at the bottom for the moment. And that's got our oxygen sunder, airway management and catastrophic hemorrhage equipment in it that we uh, use in the event of any problems. Coming around the other side, we've got our uh, patient our transfer seat. So this is where um, the crew member will sit when they're moving around the when we're transferring somebody in. So that's handy. Hopefully, be in there all day.